Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel. I'm the Custard Prophet. This is the Custard Haulers, um, and the, we are currently, as you can see, taking a big old truck full of coconut oil. Not sure why it's in the truck like this, but I don't, uh, I don't ask questions. And we're going to be taking it from Bitola in Alba in um, North Macedonia, which we, uh, which we drove down to uh, from the capital of Skopje. Uh, and we're going to be going all the way to uh, Vior, or Vilor, I keep putting an eye in it, there's no eye in it, uh, in southern uh, Albania. What are you doing, mate? You let me go. That's very kind of you, mate, but it makes, makes for a difficult emerge. So, um, this is going to be good, um, and so we're going to make that trip. It's not, not a massive trip, it's about six and a half hours. And once we get there, we have something else we want to do. We're going to go... I just switched the engine off. <laughs> it's no, no apparent reason. Just done. I'm done with it all. Yeah, we, we're going to uh, take a little trip uh, just outside the uh, the city of Velour, which is on the coast, to another location, which will be the final one we need to pick up in Albania which is Fjord uh, and there is a cutscene there as well so all of this is really important because we're trying to complete all of the achievements in the uh, West Balkans DLC and we're super super close to doing that we've done three of the five and in the next couple of episodes we'll be completing the uh, the remaining achievements but let's have a look in front of us first of all because we can see just coming out of this city a little city of Bitola and I'm pretty sure I uh, you've you've been on this little uh, roundabout with me before this kind of like Epcot center ball which is really quite cool don't know what that means I think I might have even put something up on the um, uh, in a previous episode showing it but I'll, I'll try and do that again uh, just to remind myself what's going on with that because uh, it's it's a bit of a weird one there and yeah this was this was this kind of old church wasn't it this old historic church uh, which was one of the things that we uh, needed to take a photo of. So we've done this bit of the drive before uh, so we'll head out of Bitola onto the main road and up towards um, the uh, Albanian border and I'll probably see you as we get a bit closer to the um, Albanian border. This is where we're going so down to Vilor down here there's no nothing to pick up down here but over here and it looks like this must be just some sort of, I don't know, railway? or I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I can't even imagine what it is. But that looks like oil. So maybe it's a refinery or something. And something quite impressive out there. But we'll be going over there to pick it up. And then what we do know after that, because that was going to give us um, 29 out of the 30 cities for the um, road to the Adriatic's um Achievement, we need to then go all the way up to here to Copa, which is the final city to collect. Uh, and that also has the final cutscene in it as well. So we'll be finishing off in the next episode all of the uh, achievements in this DLC, which has been a lot of fun. Right, I'll see you a little bit further down the road. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Really, really lovely countryside here. Enjoying this drive. Yeah, it's really, really impressive. This this part of the, um, the part of the map. Um, I mean, one of the questions I have for you. I mean, there's a number of cities, a number of um, countries in the West Balkans DLC, and each one of them has got some real interesting features to them in in the game. Um, obviously, in real life as well. But and I'd, I, I'd be interested to know which of the uh, which of these countries is your personal favourite, and what what would be the reason for that within the game, not not you know because your aunt Greta lives there. Um, what's what, what what do you really really like about um, any specific country? I think there's a lot going for many of them, and 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 sort of looking through Albania, which we hadn't managed to do yet. This is, I think this is absolutely gorgeous countryside, um, it really is. But there is, there's, there's a lot to say for Croatia as well. Um, I think that's a, a really nice drive down the coast, particularly right at the southern part of it. I think that was really nice. Um, 
and um, yeah, and and the road sort of through through, uh, through Kosovo as well. That was oh no, I don't like this country now. <laughs> Um, the one through the road through Kosovo is uh, to the Serpentine achievement. That was that was an amazing road, really was. So, yeah, let me know which is your favourite. I can't make up my mind. I really can't make up my mind which I would have as, you know, the top top country. It is it has been excellently done. It really has, and I've visited much of it now. I think, as I say, one city that we haven't quite visited, but. Um, everything else we've we've kind of been to we've been on many of the roads not maybe all of the roads many of the roads um, what the hell I was a little bit close in there hopefully the coconut oil survived <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention but yeah let me know your thoughts ignore ignore that didn't happen did not happen at all I didn't even notice I was getting close. I was—I I thought all was good with the world. Right, we'll uh, we'll head off, and I'll see you uh, as we get closer to the Albanian border. What a weird coloured lake. Why is that kind of greeny? I mean, is that algal growth or something like that? Is that what it's supposed to look like? Very strange. Whew. Right, border crossing, I think, is up ahead. Yeah, we can see it. So, uh, not far to go, and uh, we will cross the border in back into Albania. I was, I was, you know, I was saying how nice Albania is, but you know, this isn't Albania. This is uh, North Macedonia. It's just a part we haven't explored yet. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm very much in, enjoying this aspect, and yeah, Albania. As far as I've seen, I mean, North Macedonia is very, very pretty. And I think in real life as well, there's a, I mean, it's a, it looks an amazing sort of place. But um, I love the kind of way that, that the roads are a little bit less maintained, perhaps, than some of the other um, country roads. Certainly if you look in Germany, you know, very, very well maintained roads. And I think that, that realism is quite cool. You wouldn't expect beautiful roads everywhere you go, not everywhere. You know, prioritizes those things or has that amount of money to to throw around at dealing with potholes and cracks in the roads, particularly when you've got really hot weather all the time, which is going to uh, you know make those roads a little less happy. But um, what a random house there! Why on earth would you live there? <laughs> right, we've got to go to the X-ray hall again. It's just there. Thankfully, they're always built the same. Ah, there he is. I'm so, I'm so, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, in we go. Clearly don't trust us with our load of coconut oil. Don't know what we're going to do with it. There we go. Nice, got the tre trefoil radiation sign on the on the wall. Important health and safety. So we're just going over this this fantastic drive we did in the last episode to get up to um, Skopje uh, from uh, Tirana, and or no, it was Jerez, wasn't it? Uh, but it is a it is a, a lovely lovely drive. I haven't I haven't seen the comments to see what you folks thought of it, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. The uh, the second part was quite nice as well, but this was uh, this was really good. I, I I mean look at that little sort of dilapidated you know house there, but and then you've got all this beauty around it. It's just just fantastic, isn't it? The way they've done this, the netting on the on the hills to sort of prevent landslide. You know, that's that is all good. That is, you know, it's what what you would expect to see. So uh, yeah, very 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 good. 
I would highly recommend driving this road if you've not been down to Albania already. There, go down there. There's lots of stuff. Some of the achievements are you need to go down to Albania. Not to complete necessarily, to give yourself a better chance of completion. So uh, the going camping achievement, for instance, a bunch of the um, the locations that you can go to in that are in, I think most of them are in Tirana. I think uh, Vilor as well, is there's another one some of them in there as well so you you, you by going to um, Albania you, you do make life a little bit easier for you um, for that with that achievement if you are trying to do it if you want to do that achievement then uh, don't fear I've got that colored I have done a guide for that achievement uh, which you can find in the uh, this playlist a few episodes ago I will put a link to that in the uh, stuff below Right, we'll move on. I'm going to try and get down to ooh, uh, to uh, on, down the road. I think it's on the coast, down to Valor. Looks like it might be, um, but we've got a little bit more driving to do before we get to that particular part of the road. So let's uh, let's let's move on. Oh, here we go. We're on the roundabout with the most petrol stations in the world. <laughs> Down we go. Oh, good God. I mean, I was indicating the wrong way, but, you know, that's that's no excuse for bad driving. <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't see him coming, so, you know, I'll, I'll take that. Lots of roads that could be hidden roads, aren't they? Just sort of off the side. Not seen any in Albania, unfortunately. Let me know if you found them in Albania. Um, I'm always on the lookout for hidden roads. I do enjoy finding those. Um, it's more fun finding them yourself, but um, it is kind of cool to go on the lookout for them as well, um, or to at least you know, get a bit of a hint where one might be from you lovely people in the comments. But uh, yeah, another one that isn't. Right, we'll head on down this kind of Higgledy piggledy, we're getting into the into paper, the city of paper. Yeah, this sort of higgledy piggledy kind of road. Um, yeah, it's sort of, it's, it looks, I imagine, exactly as you would expect it to. As you, if you went there, this is probably what you'd see. Oh, you bugger! I suspect we can go to the on that road on the right as well. I suspect we can do that. Yeah. I don't think that is a hidden road. These ones tend not to be. But let's just go and investigate. Right, let's see if we can get in here. And I'm, these tend to not be given as hidden roads in my great experience. But they normally are things, yeah. So we can come down here. Which is a kind of nice little thing that you can do. And see, get a little bit closer to the all this stuff and then we go on this little rickety bridge uh, oh that's cool I'm taking a photo over that and then yeah and then we're back onto the main road Don't drive into me, mate. Oh. Huh. Didn't quite work. I see the problem. <laughs> I'm trying to turn like a car. This this might be uh, uh, might be an issue. I might have to kind of turn around over there or something. I'll uh, I'll sort this out. We might just have to push this old van a little bit out of the way. Don't think there'll be a way past them otherwise. A little little nudge. And we do need to sleep. Let's have a look. Where is our nearest rest stop? Well, you've got one just up the road. So, yeah, we'll um, I'll turn around and then we'll have a sleep. And then I'll, I'll come back once we've, uh, we've had a little snooze. What's this? I think I've found something, folks. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Right. This might be problematic because um, I'm tired as well. Right, we have had a sleep and I'm going to have a look down this this road here before we go and collect our trailer which we have going to have to reverse out. I think this might be a hidden road. Does it just go to absolutely nowhere? Oh, it's cruel. That is very cruel. Imagine if I got all the way down here with my with my um, trailer. That would have been a disaster. I mean, almost as much as a disaster as the one we're at at the minute. Right, a bit of challenging reversing this is. I've not done sort of long distance reversing with a trailer on before so whilst this isn't necessarily the most exciting bit I, I, I'd be very pleased myself if I can make this happen going alright so far I mean, we're a bit in the in the hedgerows here but Oh god! Oh, 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 right. I didn't. I was looking in the wrong mirror. Okay. Oh, good god! Oh no! What is? Have I? Oh. <laughs> Let's go forward. What was I saying? It was going really well. It doesn't help that I've got one axle kind of over the top of my hand. Oh, is there a way out of this? Is there a way out of this? I don't feel there is. Got it! Right. So, we've got to turn it at this point quite significantly to get it out. disaster that was right I hopefully cut that down to something sensible but um, my god how stuck we were it was not a straightforward reverse it was uphill and it was very narrow and <laughs> I'm sure everyone else would have done a lot better than me there but oh dear me oh, that was fun oh is that a hidden road <laughs> no. we're not checking we're not checking any more hidden roads no matter how interesting they look. So right ahead of us we can see the city of Valore. Um, it wasn't down the coast, I expected this to be down the coast, it wasn't. It was, um, it was a pleasant, pleasant drive out in the countryside and see some mountains in the distance but I couldn't see any coastline. And there we go, 28 out of 30 for the road to the Adriatic's achievement. One more will be collected today and then we know where we have to go after that. So uh, this will be good. Not sure what to expect here. Ooh, what's that in the centre of the roundabout? What is that? Is that a plant? Like grasses or something? But massive sculpture of grass I mean, that's interesting don't think I've ever seen that before but there we go I will see if I can find what that is and I'll put a um, an image of it see if it actually exists very very much needing a little bit of uh, TLC this these roads aren't they and uh, bin bin men probably need to come looking at the uh, looking at that 
our delivery will be just down here on the left side and I think we are this should be a port maybe it's the other side of the city I'm not sure but I'm not seeing any any porty sort of stuff like a sea that's kind of important <laughs> oh Christ right oh my God, we've got to go. What have we got to do? Down there and then left. Right. Right, you go there and now I'm coming out here. And then we're going to take a nice big wide turn. As wide as we possibly can. There. Is that enough? And then we've got to kind of do the opposite. Late as we can. Just about there. And there we go. I mean, that should just be pretty straightforward. We just drive around, don't we? We'll see you around the other side. 40 XP for that. Dear me. Unless there's something in the way stopping you. It looks pretty straightforward to me. Something in the way. But, I mean... After the reversing we've just done, <laughs> this should be a piece of cake. We've got this thing to line up with, haven't we? I don't think it's going to allow that. It it, it it allowed that somehow, but there we go. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it, folks. Oh, what an eventful drive that was. We got stuck. Right, heading towards level 29. We've got 193,000 pounds in the bank. We can actually afford our second garage on Sicily, so let's do that. We'll go Katana and we'll buy that. Okay. Nope, no job. So uh, we are going to just try and get around here without taking the side off the truck. And uh, we've got a 40 minute drive to get there and we'll see what the um, what what's what's cooking in fear and maybe then once that's done we can take a oh my lord <laughs> sorry <laughs> you go I'll just stop there mate that'd be ice cream everywhere right what was I saying yeah, so we'll, we'll take a drive up there and maybe we can take a job from Fiat up towards Copa. And we, what we're going to try and do in the next episode, maybe over two or three deliveries, we will go up to Copa and then finish up the, this achievement. So it'll be a slightly longer um, episode, I think. Although this one might be longer than it needed to be, given what has happened. Right, folks, uh, I'll, I'll see you when we're... Thank you for just driving out there, you prat. I'll see you when we are um, on the road towards Fier and um, heading in. I won't go down any more hidden roads, not today. Not after, not after what happens. Here we go, Fier dis discovered. Not what I was expecting. It's a lovely little place. But actually, uh, a lot more. Um, a lot larger than than I expected. I thought it was going to be a tiny, tiny place just for the workers like that map. <laughs> Are we on the coast? What is this? What is this craziness? And the question is, though, is the is the hidden roads in fear? Uh, nope. 
I thought we were going up there, but we won't. I know I said I wasn't looking at hidden roads, but I can't help myself. And so we're going to go all the way in and find that last, uh, or that cutscene, um, which will get us all the most, almost there for that other other achievement. Oh, good God! You should be driving, not <laughs> checking my speed. I didn't think I was. I don't think I was speeding too bad. Oh, 25. Right, okay. Ugh. I've got 18 miles to go to get to whatever this place is at the end. I suspect this is going to be interesting. I'll see you when we know what is going on. Hmm. What earth are those? Silos of some description. We're just heading on up here. Um, that's pretty cool. Just gone off the main road and now kind of on this little sub road. We're getting loads of XP for our free roaming. <laughs> but we will be taking a job. Here we go. What is this? What is this? Oh, there's loads of stuff going on down there. Maybe it will become clear. I mean, we could go in there, but I don't think it really gives us anything. Now, what is all this? Right, we're going to go in here. And over there we have the cutscene. So I think this will make everything clear. This is clearly an absolutely enormous site, whatever this is. Right. It is the Fear Oil Fields. Okay, that makes more sense. I can't see any of those kind of oil derrick things that pump the oil to the surface, though. I mean, I don't know if the coach would really be coming here. I'm not sure this is um, a tourist hotspot. Oh, wow. I bet that's uh, horribly polluted. Oh, I'm going to have to put a picture up of what the fear oil fields look like. But very, very, very cool. So we'll see next time. We'll, we'll try and take a job from this location right on the end. Potentially that'll be taking oil somewhere. I don't know what's happened to the shadows there all over the place. Oh, that's a cool view. That's crazy, isn't it? Working hard. Just one day since the last accident. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's just all... All the employees just shuffling around, not doing anything. It's brilliant. What are you doing, mate? Trying to work out how to use the forklift. It's a lot of, um, a lot of sort of views. Have we seen this one already? Is that ducks? Three-headed ducks. Right, we're back. Let's see, just out of interest, before we head off, what sort of jobs one might get from here yeah oil of all descriptions so we want to go potentially up here to Copa so we could go up to Lubjana that would work it's probably the closest but and then we can just kind of make a little side swipe across to uh, Copa once we get up there that sounds pretty good. That's something we might do, or we might we're gonna wait a little bit and see if other jobs come up that are 
even easier to get across who knows we might actually be able to get to copra itself or, or, or rijeka would be a better one anyway folks i hope you enjoyed that uh, we are currently sitting in city 29 out of 30 so next episode uh, we will complete the the West Balkans achievements so both the road to the Adriatics where we have to collect all 30 cities we've got 29 out of the 30 and the Grand Adventurer where we have to collect all of the cutscenes we've got 14 out of 15 and the last one is in Copa our final city so that's gonna be good if you enjoy the episode please hit that like button subscribe if you I'll see you for the next one goodbye